Hey there, Kevin from Hopefully Diagnostics. Uh, this video is a request from a uh, YouTube comment on how to uh, change the maximum vehicle speed for on, on a Volvo iShift 2013. Um, let's go ahead and take a look on how you do that with the Test 21.3 software. So you can see here I'm in the uh, manual connection function in the Test software. I'm going to go through and find Volvo in the manufacturer section and I'm going to go and pick a, let's do a 20, uh, a D13 um, US EPA 2013 emissions. I'll highlight that. Now we got a list here of all the systems that might be on a 2013 Volvo iShift um, model. So let's uh, actually filter this out by engine. We're after the engine to change that parameter. Uh, so the EMS V3 engine go up to connect and we'll actually connect directly into this engine using that um, that 16 pin OBD2 cable. Uh, go ahead and hit connect and now we'll hit that diagnostic dashboard for that Volvo engine. Uh, so in a second here, it should come up and we should be able to see uh, actuate components, read and clear fall codes, system checks, parameters, maintenance, calibration, and where we wanna be is in the parameters section, okay? So in the parameters section, you're gonna see a display parameters, modified parameters. You can expand both of these. If I expand that display parameters section, this is where I can go and actually look at what the current settings are for this particular um, ECM. And by going to modify parameters, this gives me an opportunity to go through and change those parameters. So injector codes, for example, um, under modify parameters, click on injector code, I can go in there and change my injector codes. Um, but what we're after for this video is the speed limit. Okay, so we wanna change that maximum vehicle speed uh, from the current value, which we're gonna see in this uh, video because we're using a simulator. Obviously, this is not an accurate value and you can see it jumping around. I mean, this is not gonna be jumping around when you're actually hooked up. Uh, this is gonna show your current maximum vehicle speed. Okay, so it shows you off what the, the current vehicle speed, maximum vehicle speed is. We hit the check mark here and we've got some conditions to meet. Again, we're in a simulator. We're not gonna get accurate values here, but basically what they wanna see is engine is off, um, vehicle's not moving, and we have sufficient uh, battery voltage, okay? So once that all those conditions are met, I'll be able to hit that check mark there, and then it's gonna take me to a spot where I can actually put in that new maximum vehicle speed value. So you can see the range here is 30 to 140 kilometers an hour. Um, we've got a units conversion button here, so I can actually adjust. I can actually look at, well, you know, if I'm looking at miles per hour, I can convert that to kilometers an hour, which is what it's asking for me to put in here. So let's go ahead with 110 uh, kilometers an hour hit the check mark, always remember hit that check mark there in the corner, um, and then that's going to write that new parameter to the ECM, okay? So give it a second here, and then it should show us that everything has been successful, and then the next screen it's gonna show us that that has been updated, okay? So it's gonna give us that, that new value. Uh, you can see, obviously, again, it's a simulator, it's just bouncing around there, uh, but we've, uh, we, we should see our new value 110 kilometers an hour in, in that um, spot there. Okay, so that is how you change your maximum vehicle speed using the JAL Test 21.3 software um, with uh, on a Volvo iShift 2013. If you want to request a specific video, want to see how to do something in the JAL Test software, uh, by all means, leave a comment below. We'd be happy to go through and, and, and make a customized video for you, uh, post it to our YouTube channel, or uh, contact us via email or our one toll-free number anytime. Uh, we'll see you next time.